Namaste Green Wave, it's Rosini, and today we are going to do some mindful baking using lavender, which is an essential oil that helps to calm and relax our body and our mind. So we're going to make some lav a lavender cake. We're also going to learn how to make some lavender ice cream and also some mint chocolate chip using the peppermint essential oil. We're also going to learn all about other types of lavender products that you can find at the local grocery stores. And you're also going to connect to the color purple in our inner rainbow superpowers known as our chakras, as there's mudras, yoga of the hands, and the the sound of purple that we will also experience while our cake is baking in the oven and for making a lavender cake anytime you're going to cook with essential oils the only brand that you can use is the young living brand that is the only safe brand of essential oils that you can actually use to cook and bake with so just be mindful of that if you want to try this at home. It must be the Young Living Company. And I'll put the website in our Google Classroom. So if you want to, you know, buy your own essential oil, you'll know where to find it. But um, you wouldn't use any essential oils that you would find at the store. You can only buy these online. So that's really important to be mindful of. So to make our lavender cake, we're going to add in about two drops of this essential oil into our cake mix. And I thought it would taste better making it as a vanilla uh, cake. So I got this from the store and we're going to follow the recipe on the back. And this is a practice of mindfulness because if we miss a step or we add too much of something, our cake isn't going to turn out exactly how we have planned it. So for this cake box, it says we need one cup of water, a half a cup of vegetable oil, and three eggs. Now, it's also important to be mindful of when you're baking who you're making or baking your meal for. So just being mindful if anyone has any allergies. So if you were allergic to eggs, then you would need to find an alternative than using the three eggs that we're going to use today in this recipe. So if you did have any type of egg allergy, you can find this product at grocery stores. This is called the Neat Egg, and it is a vegan and gluten-free egg substitute. So what this is made out of are chickpeas and chia seeds. So if you've never seen chickpeas before, they're also known as garbanzo beans, but you can buy this at the store. This is also what hummus is made from, is made from chickpeas. And it's also blended with chia seeds. So you can see the, the little chia seeds right there. And these are, are good nutrients. So together, the chia seeds and blended with the, the chickpeas create the neat egg mixture, which I will show you. Into a little a measuring spoon here. To make this cake today, I'm not going to use meat, but just to show you what meat looks like. It looks just like that. So that is the blend of the chia seeds and the chickpeas. Again, if you did have an egg allergy, you could add this to any recipe. And it's important always to read the, the directions as on the, on the package, it says, the neat egg is an easy to mix natural egg replacement that can be used in your favorite recipes. How to prepare the neat egg. You would need two tablespoons of water plus one tablespoon of the neat egg mix. Mix well and you get one neat egg. So again, if you were following the directions, always read it carefully, practicing mindfulness when it comes to reading. And then it says, add two tablespoons of water and one tablespoon of a neat egg, neat egg mix and stir in a bowl. Use the neat egg in recipes where egg is a binder, not a standalone egg. So for example, if you were gonna make scrambled eggs, 
this wouldn't be what you would want to make your scrambled eggs with because it's not a binder. The binder is going to um, connect all the ingredients together. So you could use this in a cake, um, but today I'm going to use uh, regular organic eggs. But just to be aware of, of any type of food allergies that you may have, there are alternatives, there are substitutes. So it's really important to be mindful of that. Making this more of a yoga cake today, instead of using vegetable oil, I'm going to use coconut oil. And coconut oil is big in Ayurveda, which is the sister science of yoga, all about the practice of self-care. And coconut oil is good for the outside of our body. It's like a natural lotion, also helps your hair grow faster. And it's also good for the internal part of our body. It helps our joints stay healthy. It's good for digestion. So coconut oil is a really healthy type of oil. Oh, that's the sound of the oven because I had to preheat the oven as it said it needed to be at 350 degrees. So the oven is all ready for us. So this is refractionated coconut oil, meaning it's in the liquid form. Some coconut oils that you would find in a jar, they look like glue. It's a solid at room temperature, but since it's the summertime, it might look more like a liquid. So you would just have to heat that up on the stove for it to fully become a liquid. But this one that I got from ShopRite, it's already in a liquid form, no matter the, the temperature, it will always be in a liquid form. So I'm gonna use this instead of vegetable oil in the recipe. So, you know, to make the cake mix, you need the, the cake mix, one cup of water. So we're gonna, I already measured that in my measuring cup. All right, I poured the water up to where it says one cup. Also practicing a little bit of math, right? And it also calls for three eggs, which we will add in. And then we will mix it all up. It's always important to spray the, the pan that you're gonna put your cake mix in so that the, the cake doesn't stick to the pan. So it's easy to cut your piece of cake out. And I have the coconut oil cooking spray. So again, this is gonna have the flavor of coconut and lavender and vanilla. So again, this is from both of these coconut oil products I found at ShopRite. But again, you can look around your local grocery store and see what type of coconut products that they have or even lavender products as well. And then we're going to bake the cake between 28 to 33 minutes. So I'll put the timer on for about 30 minutes and then we'll check it with a toothpick. We'll, we'll put a little toothpick in to see is it um, still needing more time or if it's done. Then we have to let the cake cool before we put on the frosting. And I picked out the bold purple van vanilla frosting because lavender is uh, the color purple. Uh, again, this is just a fun way to make a cake. Um, there really isn't that much healthy things about it, but it's okay to have a little sweetness um, from time to time. But again, just be mindful of the ingredients. So it's always important, you know, if you have any allergies or anyone that you're baking or making whatever you're cooking for, always read the label. That's really important um, to be mindful. So we'll add this at the end and there's even some sprinkles we'll add on too. But again, the cake has to, to cool down for that. So let's get started with making our lavender cake. So we're going to follow the directions that are right here on the box. So step one, heat oven to 350 degrees for shiny metal or glass pan or 325 for a non-stick pan. So I'm using the, um, the shiny metal pan. So it's number two, mix cake mix, water, oil, and eggs in a large bowl with mixer on medium speed or beat vigorously by hand by two minutes. So I don't have a, a baking mixer, so we're gonna use my, my hand to bake it all with, with a whisk. All right, so again, we are practicing mindfulness as we bake our cake. So step one, I'm gonna open up the cake box. And every cake recipe might be a little bit different depending on the brand. So just again, practice mindfulness. So that came right out of the box. 
and always wash your hands before you begin. So I had already washed my hands before we started. I'm just gonna get a scissor to cut the, the plastic. It's a little hard to open just by hand. All right, so I am going to carefully pour in the vanilla cake mix into the bowl. And I wish we could smell over technology, but this definitely smells like vanilla. And then our next step, I'm gonna shake it around a little bit. So again, that is our cake mix. Our next step is we are going to add in the eggs. So I have a paper towel just to put underneath the eggs as I crack them. So this is egg number one, because again, the recipe is calling for three eggs. So egg number one, and always just check if the shell came in. So I'm noticing a little piece of the shell came in. Also important, anytime you touch raw eggs to wash your hands in between so you don't get salmonella. So I'm just gonna take a spoon here because I noticed a little piece of, oh, where did it go? A little piece of the, of the eggshell got in, but all right. Okay, there it goes. Okay, just like that. Okay, egg number two. <laughs> And I notice a little piece of the shell. Again, just being patient because sometimes these ugh, gets in there. Okay. <laughs> and number three, egg number three. I'll give it a little crack on the side. And here comes the egg. All right, that's our three eggs. And I'm just going to throw these out and wash my hands before we do the next step. So again, we must be mindful as we follow the directions, one step at a time, one ingredient at a time, so that our cake will come out tasty. Okay, so next, it says one cup of water. And again, I pre-poured the water. So again, depending on what type of measuring cup you're using, make sure it says one cup. And then I'm going to pour that in. And then it says a half a cup of the oil. So we're gonna do, here is my half a cup. And we're going to add in the coconut as this will be our coconut vanilla lavender cake. So I'm gonna, again, using mindfulness to pour in the oil. And then I'm going to pour it in. And so you see, before we mix it all up, we're also gonna add in the drops of lavender. We're gonna add in two drops of lavender. So we're gonna go one, two, and actually I'm gonna do one more, three to give it a little bit more flavor. 
And then I'm going to stir it all up. So mixing up all the ingredients so that it's no longer in the, the powder form. So it's becoming a liquid from Up. And you just want to make sure there's no little bumps and lumps in there because sometimes the you know it cakes up from the, the powder and the oil and the eggs. So again, we wanna mix it all up, use those muscles. <laughs> again, practicing mindfulness so we don't spill the batter at all. Oops, I have a little thing for that. So the shell in there, which we'll take out. Because again, I was practicing mindfulness. I Bought another little piece of the shell that happens sometimes. Mixing it all around. gonna get a spoon to help mix it up a little bit more. Here's my spoon just to help mix it up a little bit more so it's a little bit more smoother. And practicing mindfulness, noticing the texture. So it kind of looks, you know, soupy, right? It's it's a liquid, so also noticing the smell. I smell the lavender, I smell the coconut, I smell the vanilla. Noticing the color, right? It kind of looks like a light yellowish color. Might look a little different on camera, but from what I'm seeing here in my kitchen, it's like a light yellow pastel, like a soft yellow. So again, I'm just mixing it up because I thought my spoon would give a little bit more power than my, um, my whisk. So since I'm not using a mixer, I'm making sure that all mixed up. And I'll know that it's all mixed together as it'll look very smooth and we won't see any of the, the powder from the, the cake mix. And this is our mindful yoga cake using coconut oil and lavender oil for a nice relaxation little treat. And again, just being mindful of what we eat practicing that present moment awareness when it comes to mindful eating, noticing and savoring the flavor. What does it taste like? What does it smell like? What does it remind you of? Because our sense of smell is also connected to memory. So maybe it reminds you of a summer day. Maybe it reminds you of a flower field because again, lavender is, is from a flower, is an actual flower. So it might remind you of that as well. So it looks like it's all nice and smooth and mixed up and I'll show everyone on screen. So there is our cake batter mixture. Before I pour it into the pan, I need to spray the, the pan so that the cake doesn't stick to it. So here is my pan. And I'm going to spray it with my coconut oil spray. 
So it says this zero calorie cook cooking spray works wonders with both sweet and savory recipes, baked goods, casseroles, sauteed veggies, eggs, and more. It is made with organic refined coconut oil, so spray away. Coat pans and dishes for easy nonstick cooking and a quick cleanup. The Expeller Press Coconut Oil Cooking Spray is a great alternative to traditional cooking sprays. So again, just always reading the directions. I want to give it a little shake up first. And I'm going to spray the can. Let me spray it away from you. Then I'm going to spray it all. Sides of the pan. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I believe that was all of our ingredients. And then it says pour into pan, bake as directed in chart, or until toothpick inserted in center comes out clean. So it wouldn't be if we see the liquid, then we know it still needs to bake. But if the toothpick goes in and comes out and there's no um, gooeyness on it, we know that the cake has baked. <clears throat> so I'm going to mindfully now pour this in. So we have <clears throat> our cake batter right here. You're going to carefully pour the cake in the pan. And then I'm just going to use the spatula to help the extra. All right, so we have our batter in the pan. Always make sure you wear oven mittens when you're putting your pan or your cookie sheet in the oven. My oven mitts, I'm gonna open up the oven. Again, the oven was already preheated. And we are going to carefully put that in. And then we're going to set the timer for 30 minutes. So we'll check in with it with a toothpick in 30 minutes. So 30 minutes, we'll check to see how our cake is baking. So now that our coconut lavender vanilla cake is baking, we are going to make our own ice cream. So we're gonna follow this mason jar ice cream recipe that I had found online. And you can either use a mason jar or I'm using a recycled ghee, which is clarified butter jar, because we're gonna make lavender ice cream and also mint chocolate chip using the peppermint essential oil. Remember, the only brand to use when we're cooking is Young Living. So here's the peppermint and the lavender that we're going to make our own ice cream. So following the directions, it says we need one cup of heavy cream. So here is heavy cream. And again, I'm going to use mindfulness and a little bit of math to measure one cup. So I'm gonna do this twice because I have two jars that I'm going to use. So we are going to pour one cup of heavy cream into the measuring cup. So we're gonna fill it all the way up to one cup right there. Build up a little higher than one cup. So I am going to pour this out so we don't waste it, so we reuse it. 
because sometimes it pours faster than you would think. So I'm just gonna pour out a little bit because we're gonna use this for the other one. And sometimes it's helpful when you put it down, you'll be able to see if it's correct with the measurement. So I'm still a little over. So I'm gonna pour out a little bit more. And yep, now I, I think I got it mindfully. <laughs> so sometimes you gotta try again. So here we are at one cup. And then here so far, we're on half a cup. So I'm gonna pour the other cream in this cup to one cup. And two cups make one pint. So this was one pint of heavy cream. All right, again, you can get any type of brand. I got this from Trader Joe's. So one cup plus one cup equals, uh, well, two cups <laughs> equals one pint. So one plus one is two, and that equals a whole pint. So we're gonna mindfully pour one cup of cream in one jar. And we're gonna pour one cup of cream in our other jar. If we were using the same jar, I would say make a label so we would know the difference. But since they're two different jars, that's how I'll know the difference between each homemade ice cream that we're, we're gonna make. So I'm just using the last bit of the cream. Okay, now it says uh, one and a half tablespoons of sugar. And the sugar that we're gonna use today, again, to make it yoga ice cream, this is organic coconut sugar. So I got this from Trader Joe's. Again, you can find different brands at whatever grocery stores that you go to. So you could use regular sugar too, but for today, I, I want that hint of the coconut flavor. So, here in my measuring cups, we have our tablespoon. So this is one and a half tablespoon of sugar. So I'm gonna scoop out one. Right, we have one here. This is one tablespoon of our coconut sugar. So I'm gonna put it in the first jar. This is one and I'm gonna sprinkle it in mindfully one and then it says a half so now i'm going to fill it up halfway all right that's about a halfway one and a half of table spoon of sugar and that's in one ice cream and now let's do the other or other jar again i mindfully measured here is my other tablespoon sprinkle it in and then we got to get our half So again, that's about half or in there. So we did our sugar. Next, it says one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. So we have one, one teaspoon. And then we also have here a half a teaspoon. So we're gonna do that. Here's my vanilla. So we're gonna Again, using math in our baking and our mindfulness. So we have one, one, and then we'll do our half. And then on this jar, our one, oops, oops that, that wasn't being mindful. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> and then a half. There we go, I'll put a little less in there because it's filled in more. Okay, that's our teaspoon, one and a half teaspoon of vanilla extract. Again, you can find this all in the baking aisle of whatever grocery store you go to. And then it's asking for a pinch of salt and we're gonna use the Himalayan sea salt. You might've remembered our virtual class trips to the breathing rooms in Shrewsbury, New Jersey, where they have the whole room 
filled with 6,000 pounds of Himalayan sea salt because it's actually good for our lungs to breathe in. It helps our respiratory system. It takes out any um, toxins or anything that might cause us allergies or any kind of you know sickness. So the whole room is filled with the Himalayan sea salt. I have other YouTube videos of them, so feel free to look back and go on the virtual field trips to the Himalayan salt room. But the salt that I'm gonna to use today, I found this, it's already graded for me, the pink Himalayan salt. So with this one, you can see the salt rocks are bigger. So I have to just give it a sprinkle like that. So we can do one like this, we'll sprinkle it in a pinch of salt. All right, and then the other version, it's already crushed up for us. And we'll get a little, we'll do the quarter teaspoon, just so you all can see of the pink Himalayan sea salt. So again, making this a yoga ice cream, it's the pink salt, and it looks like sand. And we'll sprinkle this into our other, and it just at a pinch, so that's all I'm gonna do there. All right, so we have, we followed our directions and now it's a shake for five minutes and freeze for three hours. So I will also post this recipe in our Google Classroom and on Seesaw. So you have, it if you wanna try it out. Oh, and we need our essential oils. Um, so for our lavender, I'm gonna do the lavender in the ghee jar. So I'm gonna do about, We'll do three drops. So we'll count one, two, three. And I just want to get this out. I see a little thing in there. We're just going to get that out. Okay. And oh, I smell the lavender. So again, that was three drops only of Young Living. That's the only brand you can cook with. And then I'm gonna put the top on because when we shake it up, we wanna make sure that it doesn't spill. And now for our mint chocolate chip, I have the peppermint. So I'm gonna pour in three drops and I have in the chocolate chip. So we'll, we'll see how this comes out. So I'm gonna again, pour in three drops. One, two, three. Awesome. All right, so before I shake it up, I'm gonna also just stir it up. Yeah. And then we shake it up before we're gonna really shake it up. So I'm gonna stir it up there. And then I'm gonna use a different spoon so I don't mix the taste. So I'm gonna just stir up the lavender one. So the lavender is in the ghee jar and the mint chocolate chip will be in the mason jar. We're gonna add in some chocolate chips. All right. And then it says to shake up for five minutes or if we really shake it up. So with the mason jar, we have to put first the this part on and then we gotta Turn it so it's really strong and won't leak. Same with this one. All right, and then we are going to shake it up. <laughs> so shake it up, shake it up, shake it up to mix all the ingredients together for our homemade yoga ice cream so we can shake it up. There's even a a mindfulness tool called the, the yoga shakedown where you would go jump up and down and you go 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 with one arm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 with the other arm and then with your leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, our cake is ready. Gotta put on our toothpick with the other side. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So while we're shaking this up, we're gonna take a break on shaking that because our cake needs us to check on how it's coming out. So we gotta do our toothpick check. Ooh, it smells just like lavender and 
coconut. And I just want to, so here it is. Brush out of the oven. I'm gonna do the toothpick check right here because I think the top needs a little more bake time. So here is my toothpick. And we're gonna just put it in. And you can see from the, the top part, it still needs um, a little bit more time. So we're gonna put it back in. The sides look like it's pretty baked, but we'll check the side of it too, just to see. Yeah, as you can see from the side, it's, it's, there's no liquid on it. So we need to have it cooked for a few more minutes because on the package it said anywhere from 28 to 33 minutes. And I put in for 30, I put, you know, middle number. So I'm gonna put it back in the oven and I'll turn it this way. And we'll cook it for another, we'll try another three minutes and we'll check in with it in three minutes. <laughs> All right, so again, we can add our yoga shakedown to our ice cream. So here we go. You can do this anywhere you go. You don't need a mat to do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So of course you can do that without the, the jars, but just a little way to bring in a little yoga energy to our yoga ice cream with essential oil. So we shake them all up just like this. And you can see all of it is mixing around in there. This is our mint chocolate chip with peppermint and some chocolate chips. And this is our lavender one. So I'm gonna get another shake up. <laughs> Clearing out any clouds, all the way of our sunshine. When we shake things up, we clear out those clouds, right? And then do it one more time on this one. And then it says to freeze for three hours. It might need a little longer than three hours. Maybe it'll be frozen in two hours. Um, but I will definitely share with you the results of our lavender and our mint chocolate chip ice cream. And the last step is to put them in the freezer to freeze and turn in to ice cream. All right. So now we're gonna go on a little virtual field trip to Happy Day Farm to the lavender field. And then we will learn about all different kinds of lavender products you can find at the grocery store and also how to use a diffuser with lavender oil. So I'm going to share my screen. One second here. Share screen. Namaste, Green Wave. It's Miss Amy. Today, we are on a virtual field trip to the Lavender Field at Happy Day Farm. So we are going to go on a mindfulness walk through these beautiful lavender plants. And we know lavender from the essential oil, lavender. This is where the plant positive power, the lavender oil comes from, from the flowers. So it's 
it comes from a distillery where it has to go to the factory and, and all the oils come out of it. But this is one way we can use lavender. Again, it helps us to feel more calm and cool. It's good for bug bites. It's good for sunburn. And again, it helps to, to calm our body down. You can also dry out the lavender plants and it would look like this. These are dried lavender flowers right here and the smell is beautiful. It smells just like the essential oil. So we again, we can use our senses to practice mindfulness with using our sense of smell. Uh, the color purple is connected to our crown chakra of our inner rainbow superpowers, our Sahasara chakra, which is the color purple. The sound is Om. And this represents our inner strength, our power, our royalty, because we are all beautiful kings and queens to share this positive power with everyone who we meet. So today we are mindfully going to walk through these lavender fields. And at Happy Day Farm, there's over 2,000 lavender plants. So, so to tune us into our breath as we inhale and exhale, we are going to practice mindfulness by noticing what we see, what we hear, what we smell, what we could taste, and what we would feel if we were all here together. And I'm gonna play the purple singing bowl. Again, purple is the color of lavender to tune us in as we practice mindfulness as we walk through the lavender field. So taking a nice deep breath, breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And taking one more nice deep breath, green wave, breathing in. And breathing out. Beautiful job, everyone. So on our next breath, we are going to mindfully walk through the lavender field here at Happy Day Farm. And again, there are 2,000 plants here. So just taking it one step at a time, one breath at a time, what do you notice? What do you see? You might see some different types of bees. You might notice that some of the flowers are budding. Some are getting ready to bloom. And we can learn so much from nature. The plants, they just grow. They're not in competition with each other. So we can apply that to our everyday life as we do the best we can be with using our breath, using mindfulness, using our inner strength, our inner crown chakra to reach our full potential because we can do anything we put our mind to it starts with our heart it starts with our breath so right now as we mindfully walk through the lavender fields what do you notice what do you see what do you smell what do you taste and we can apply mindfulness in our everyday activities. So right here, right now, breathing in, breathing out. So we feel this relaxation through the lavender field here at Happy Day Farm. Taking 10 more seconds, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Beautiful job, everyone. Let's all take a nice deep breath. Breathe in, reach those arms up through the sky. Breathe it out. Go green wave. Namaste. So that was our mindful walk at Happy Day Farm at the Lavender Field. And now we are going to take out our lavender coconut cake. So once again, using my oven mittens, 
to mindfully check in on our cake. As you can see it got a little bit more of a golden color with, again, practicing mindfulness. What do you notice? What do you see? And we are going to do our toothpick check once again. And check out how it's turning out. So again, here is our cake. Take it from the top, we'll check in. And it looks pretty good to me. Looks pretty good. So let's go check each side here. Beautiful. So now it's super, super important that the cake cools before we add our frosting to it, before we mindfully add our purple frosting as purple is the color of lavender. So we're going to let this cool. So then we can ice our cake. So you'll also notice in the different stores, grocery stores, that there are more products that incorporate the lavender scent to their product. So it might not exactly be the essential oil, it might be the lavender plant dried up, the leaves um, that's used in the how the product is formed. So you'll notice different types of household prog uh, products and personal products um, for your well-being that contains lavender. So here you can find at Trader Joe's liquid laundry detergent with the lavender set. So this is a lavender laundry detergent. So when you clean your clothes, it'll have that lavender scent to it. There's also the lavender dryer bags that you would put in instead of a dryer sheet. This is the dryer bag and inside that is the dried lavender. So from the lavender plant that we saw at Happy Day Farm when we went on that virtual field trip, those purple flowers, when they dry up, you can actually use the, the petals of it um, for relaxation. But in this case, Trader Joe's turned it into a dryer bag. So you can find that there. Again, you can look at other stores to find um, different products. So these are the lavender dryer bags from Trader Joe's. You can also find the liquid dish soap. So it's a lavender tea tree scent. And tea tree is another type of essential oil that is good for our skin. It's good for cleansing. So together, the dish soap is made with lavender and tea tree. Again, you can find this at Trader Joe's. There's also lavender hair care products. So this is um, sulfate-free, um, hydrate and color reviving lavender platinum by OGX. So this is a shampoo and conditioner. So your hair will smell like lavender. But remember, you can use coconut oil in your hair as a natural um, conditioner, it helps your hair grow faster and just nourishes your hair. These are the uh, wipes from Young Living. Made, um, they're called seedlings. They're meant for babies, but really anyone can use them. And they are made with lavender and witch hazel and geranium, which is another flower, Ling Ling, another essential oil, bergamot, which is in, in the orange family. So these are baby wipes that have the smell of lavender to them. You can use them um, to clean your face. You can even use this as a dryer sheet. So instead of putting in a dryer bag, um, you could throw this in the laundry if you're helping your family with the laundry. And it's another uh, way as a dryer sheet too. But this is another way to cleanse the body, cleanse the mind with the wipes. There's also a lavender deodorant made by Tom's. The Again, the essential oil company Young Living that we were cooking with. They also make lavender chapstick, so uh, that's good for our lips. 
And then they also make a blend. This is a roll-on essential oil. This one's called Tranquil, which again, makes us feel really calm and cool. And the difference between a roll-on is it has that cap on. So I would just roll it on my wrist and it, it comes right on. Whereas now I'm gonna show you when you diffuse, we use the regular essential oil bottle. And there's so many different types of diffusers. The diffusers that I have here, this is an owl one. And this one kind of looks like a lamp. All right, and what you do with them, first you take off the lid. So I'm gonna take off the lid of each one. There's two lids to this one. And step one, when you're diffusing, and again, this is gonna make the, the room smell of the essential oils. And since today we use lavender as our main essential oil and also we use peppermint, we're gonna mix them together because lavender and peppermint are actually the best essential oils for kids. Lavender again is calming, peppermint is cooling, it's good for focus. So when we blend them together, it'll make the room smell calming yet focused. All right, so step one in our diffusers, we're gonna pour in the water and there's a little line so you know not to over fill the container. So you'll notice each diffuser is a little different but that's the line right there that I don't wanna go over. Same with this one, I wanna again, mindfully pour in. And then step two, I'm gonna add in my smells. I'm gonna add in lavender and I'm gonna add in peppermint. And these are both really good summertime essential oils. Again, peppermint helps us to feel calm and cool. Lavender is also good for bug bites or sunburn. So it's also good to add that and a carrier oil, oils you cook with. So coconut oil mixed with lavender is really soothing for the skin, but we're gonna add it to our diffuser today. So I'm gonna add in about three drops of each smell. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. One, two, three. And again, we can mindfully notice the difference between a roll-on essential oil and a regular essential oil. We can see the difference from the tops, from the caps. So this one I pour in, this one I roll in. And I could still use this on my, my skin as well, but it actually wastes more, it, like a lot will come out. So see how if I drop it on my wrist, a lot came out. Whereas if I were just to roll on, a little goes a long way. So the roll-ons just help you not to waste um, because essential oils can be a little pricey. So again, you wanna be mindful about how you use them. Now I'm gonna add in the peppermint. So I'm gonna add in three drops. Three drops, one, two, three. Sometimes they come out fast, sometimes they come out slow. One, two, three. Awesome. All right. Now that I have my essential oils in, I'm going to put the, the caps back on. And I made sure I plugged these in before I was zooming. <laughs> and now when I hit the button, you're going to notice the, the steam come up. All right, so with the bird one, we hit the button here. Oops, I guess that one. Here it comes. You can see the, the steam coming up. And same with this one. Turn, hit, turn the button. And they have different, as you can see, there it goes. You can change the color with these two. I can change it to all different colors. I know it's a little hard to see on technology wise, but you get the idea. Again, diffusers come in all different shapes and sizes. I don't even have to add a light. With the, with the bird one, with the owl, this is called Feather from Young Living. This one's fancy because it has some sound. So if I hit the button in the back, you'll hear, I think that's the white noise. This one is the sound of birds chirping. This one is the sound of the ocean waves. And then the next one is, I think a lullaby. Oops, I think that's the white noise. And then yes, it also has a feature for a lullaby. So this one is designed more for kids. So you could use it as a nightlight, 
use it as you know as you go to sleep at night to hear the relaxing soothing sounds of the music or the birds singing or the sound of the waves whereas this diffuser oh and see the sound gets louder whereas this diffuser does not have any of the the sounds it's just the light and the and the steam coming up so these are diffusers and you can diffuse any smells that you like again today i diffuse lavender and peppermint together other lavender products you can find at the store you can find lavender blueberry milk at trader joe's they have a blend um, it says blueberry lavender flavored almond beverage with other natural flavors, a smooth and creamy non-dairy beverage. So you can try a, a lavender milk of, of a plant-based milk with almond milk. You can also find lavender tea by Yogi Tea. So this is honey lavender stress relief, a soothing serenity blend, and it's caffeine free. So other ways that you can savor the flavor of lavender. So just to go over the mudras of the color purple connected to our crown chakra of our inner rainbow superpowers called our Sahasara chakra is the follow are the following mudras and again mudras are yoga of our hands that connect us back to our breath that connect us to our heart because we have all the positive power right at our fingertips we have it with our breath no matter where you go so you can think of the color purple and again thinking of lavender which is very calm and cooling and soothing so we have our barbara mudra so you bring your your hands together like this we have the Shunya Mudra. So you take your middle finger to your thumb, just like this. Then we have our Mani Ratna Mudra. So for this one, you bring your pointer finger and your thumb together, and then you connect them just like this. And then your other fingers stretch out. Then we have our Chin Mudra which is our pointer finger to our thumb. And you can always add some movement to these as well. Then we have our Shankhavarata Mudra, which kind of almost looks like a heart. So when you bring all of your hands together, then you would take your pointer finger and bring it down. So just to see it upside down. All right, so we have that one. And then our Sumukha Mudra is bringing all of our hands together like this, all our fingers together, and then our hands like this. Then our Sahasara Mudra, again, our crown chakra is all of our fingertips stretched out, and then our pointer finger and our thumb together. Then we have our Akasha Mudra, which is our ring finger to our thumb and again you could always make some movements with there then we have our dharma chakra mudra which is bringing your pointer finger and your thumb pointer finger finger and your thumb and then making like the number eight or um the infinity sign and then our last mudra today is our anjali mudra bringing our hands together just like this. So you can choose any of these mudras to breathe with for the next few breaths as we connect to our purple chakra. This is the sound of purple as our belly goes up and our belly goes down. So relaxing our body, relaxing our mind before we ice our cake. <laughs> so maybe you close your eyes or keep them open, whatever feels good for you. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in all that beautiful lavender energy. Again, lavender is calming, it's soothing. It helps to relax our body and our minds. 
feeling so calm, so cool. Being in this moment, because this is how we practice mindfulness, whether we're cooking or baking or whatever we're doing, we can always bring more presence and more awareness to our, our daily activities. We'll stay here for 10 more seconds. And also, so this is the sound of the singing bowl of the, of the color purple, but the vibration is the sound of om, ah, ooh, um. So you can also say ah, um, ah, um, ah, um, 10, nine, eight, seven, Five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And now we are mindfully going to ice our cake using the purple vanilla frosting. Cause again, purple is the color of lavender. This does not have lavender in it. I just thought purple would be a fun color to add to our cake, our vanilla coconut lavender cake. So anytime you ice, you wanna just take a nice big scoop on whatever you're icing it with. And I'm just going to mindfully spread the icing around. And I always wanna add more to my icing utensil so that it doesn't get, you know, lumpy. So again, you can use baking as a mindfulness practice because no matter where you go, you are always breathing. So you can breathe into our beautiful lavender cake that we've created today. As we mindfully bake with lavender today. And up on Seesaw, I have a place where you can self-reflect about our mindful baking today. And even if you weren't baking along with me, you can self-reflect about a time that you were baking. So maybe you share your favorite recipes that you like to bake, or maybe you like to cook. Some people really love to bake, or maybe they really love to cook. So you're welcome to share any of your favorite baking recipes, whether it be cookies, or maybe it's a cake recipe, or cupcakes, or maybe you know how to make a, a certain type of candy. So you're welcome to self-reflect on Seesaw to share your favorite cooking or baking activity. And I will also share with you the recipes for this. So if you want to try this at home, always make sure you have a grown up around to help when you're using the oven or using a knife or anything. So just always remember safety first when it comes to really anything. See, safety first is super important with practicing mindfulness because, you know, it's, we want to be mindful to ourselves and we also want to be mindful to the, the people that that's around us. And that's another way that we can share kindness. We can share peace. So I'm almost finished here adding all the purple frosting here. And again, I wish we could all eat this together, but I'm sure whatever you baked, it will also be delicious. And again, this is a tasty way to 
practice mindfulness with mindful baking. So I think our cake is just about done here. Check it out. Here is our lavender vanilla coconut cake. So thank you all for joining me today on our lavender adventure. So let's all take a nice deep breath. Breathe in, reach those arms up to the sky, breathe it out. Go green wave, namaste.